Hello. What is it? Um, uh, what's your story? I'm sorry, what's my story? What an oblivion is your story? How dare you come in here like you own the place and expect me to explain myself to you? Oh, I say. Uh, my apologies. Uh, I'm Lucian Flavius. I'm new here. I don't care who you are, but pay attention. There's a pecking order around here and I'm at the top of it. Well, after the yowl, of course. So work hard and do what I tell you, or you'll wish you died and gone to oblivion. Got it? Uh, my apologies. I, I didn't mean to upset you. That's more like it. Now that you know your place, you're going to do something for me. Uh, am I? What do you want me to do? I want you to retrieve something for me. It's a helmet. Dwarven. Made thousands of years ago still in immaculate condition. Fascinating. One of those vigilants of Stendar had it with him when he went down into the old mine tunnels over by the lake. He never came out. I want you to go down there and bring it back. Now, do you have any questions? Uh, out of interest, why haven't you retrieved it yourself? Because the Jarl boarded up the door to the tunnels and told us not to go down there, and I value my good standing with the Jarl. So, uh, I should be sacrificing my good standing with the Jarl? Oh, I don't know. Why, why would I help you? Because if you don't, you'll have made a very powerful enemy here. I'll make you regret the day you were born. Got it? Uh... All right, uh, I I will I will go and I will retrieve that helmet for you. Sure thing. Now there's a good peasant. Go on now, and don't you show your face in the citadel again without it. You understand? Marvelous. Well, he seems like a nice chap. I think we'll add him to the list of suspects. Now, who around here is thinking of committing crimes? Who indeed? Someone around this corner, perhaps. Aha! Ah, let me do that. Right. Uh, how about this one, then? Yeah. Aha! Ah, a suspect! Hello, madam! No, hello there! What is your story, and how do you make books appear out of thin air? I'm a Breton from Hyrak. I've studied history at the Imperial City, which led me to Skyrim in search of Dromo ruins. And now I'm here. I see, I see. Some days I just can't believe my luck. Working with Vrol. Researching the richest source of Dromo history and technology I could have imagined. I feel like we're on the brink of some amazing discoveries about the Dromo. Who knows? Maybe we'll find not all of them have disappeared. Interesting, interesting. I in particular note your accent, which seems rather suspicious somehow. Anyway, can you tell me about the history of this place? I could, but Brawl knows much more than I do. You should be able to find him in his chambers down the city. Marvellous. Um, other questions. Do you know a way out of here? A way out of here? Are you kidding? Why would I want to get out of here? I can't think of a single place in all time real I'd rather be. Oh, that's one way of looking at it. Um, incidentally, do you need any help with your research? Now that you mentioned it, I do. I need you to get something for me. And it won't be easy. I've tried everything I can think of, and still, nothing. There's a big Nord living down in the city called Rikus. You may have seen him walking around in an immaculate example of dragon armor. I need that armor. It's the only one like it, and I believe it to be crucial in unlocking the secret of this place. The trouble is, before I could get a good look at it, that brute Rikas claimed it as his own, and has been wearing it ever since. I've tried everything. Appeals to his better nature, flattery, charm, even threats. It's like negotiating with a brick wall. The only thing I haven't tried is violence. And you know how that would end. But I'm convinced there's a way to get it. There has to be. All right, I'll, um, I'll try to get it. Thank you. If you do manage to get it, you're welcome to keep it. I just need to have a quick look at it, that's all. Uh, all right, then I'll be going now. That's fine. I've got a lot of reading to do if I'm going to move half as much as Brawl one day. Marvellous. Well, thanks for the chat. 
Ah, another suspect. Hello, and you have been stabbing a dummy. That seems a bit shifty to me, good sir. Oh, look. I have a visitor. How lucky for me. I'll have less of the sarcasm if you don't mind. What's your story? My story? It's about a quiet man who preferred to keep to himself. Short and sharp. Lovely. Uh, don't suppose you know a way out of here? Yes, I do. Death. Death is the only way out of here. Marvellous! Well, I'll be going now. You do that. I will. Toodles! Take note of him as well. Ooh, I say, blood. Interesting, very interesting. And scorch marks. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, these could be the signs of the battle I had with Altrius's ghost. Perhaps a skeever. Can't recall, but perhaps time isn't quite as linear here as I assumed. You smell that? Crime. I smell crime. Is that smell coming from you? Working hard. What's your story? My story? Well, I'm from Mark Arf originally. Started working at Kolskiga Mines as a lad. And after a while, the Silver Buds made me foreman. I was doing pretty well for myself. Until somebody decided to knock me down the shaft into this place. I have. I had. A wife and son. Still up there, I suppose. Though, they probably think I'm long gone. But, chin up, right? Meanwhile, I'm stuck down here, supervising workers to earn me keep. Waiting for the day that I can get out of here and back to my life in Markarth. I see. I think I read your letter. Uh, uh, I, I read uh, a letter about you from one of the other citizens. Never mind, no need to discuss that anymore. Do you know a way out of it? I wish. Seems like Dwarfs designed this place to keep folk in. But the only thing that keeps me sane is thinking there has to be a way out. Yes, possibly. Uh, is everything all right between you and the workers? Well, I'd be lying if I said they're happy. But I'd also be lying if I said I cared. They're decent people and all. But they seem to have an hard time grasping that somebody around here's got to work the farms. Or we all starve. Gulver's the worst of the lot. Seems like a decent man at first, but he's got a temper on him. Once he told me he killed a man before he came here. He'll tell you if you ask him. Mm. Of course, down here with the dwarves, law, a bad temper could land us all in a lot of trouble. I'd keep an eye on that one if I were you. Thank you, thank you. Well, uh, carry on. I'll be going now. All right. Well, I'll see you around. Bye. Uh, I can get down from up here. This is a... Rather high balcony. Um, just try a little, a little hop. Yep. Oof. Guess that wasn't too bad. Hello. Oh, there's a looter coming into the city. I'm sorry. What did you see? I saw a man come down the shaft, but he was armed and he looked like a looter. Heavens. If he makes it into the city and starts attacking people, he'll break the dwarves' law. And who knows what will happen? You have to stop him. Uh, right. I'm, I'm on my way. Everybody, go home and lock your door. Yes, sure thing. Right. Uh, the shaft. The shaft, which is the way. Uh, I came in this way. This way. Just hanging. Uh, this door. Yes. Hello. Ah! Killed someone? Is that is that allowed? Nothing seems to have exploded. I suppose perhaps because we're on this side of the door, it's all right. I hope. Let's just hope not everyone's all burnt to death when I get back. Well, I'll best sort the rest of these chaps out before they cause any more trouble. Hello, hello. Oh, heavens! Ow! Gosh. That sorted him out. Who else wants some? You do. Right. Uh, ah! Down behind here. Right. Uh, have this ready. Ooh. No. No. Yes. That was a hit. 
more. Just finish him off. Nailed it. I have to say I'm an excellent shot these days. Hello. Yes, I'll have my arrow back. And your potions, if you don't mind. Oh, more. What are you going to do? Punch me? Quite. No, 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 no. Sorry. Come on. No. Yes. There we are. Marvelous. You have ah. Hello. Sorcerer. Thank you. Where'd he go? There he is. Not fighting that. Rather convenient. So sorry. Well, who on earth were you? My sweet child, if Quintus thinks he can hide from his own family, he is an even greater disappointment than I thought. He may have eluded his other siblings, but I know you won't let me down as they did. Take some of your playthings and find out where that venomous little spider is hiding. When you find him, sweetling, do what you do best, M. I say, I've heard the rumours and I've read the books. Looking at this armour. Yes. That hand symbol. If I'm not mistaken, this chap could have been a member of the Dark Brotherhood. But that would mean this Quintus is an assassin. Which can't be a good thing. Rather makes him a suspect, I feel. Any more losers want to come down and cause trouble? No? Good. Well then, I'll be off. Leave you here to uh, congeal? Hopefully, that's that. Ah, hello. Is it over? Is it safe? Oh, yes, I sorted it out. Looters are dead. Oh, thank the gods. What a relief. We're so lucky that you arrived in time to stop them. I'll be sure to tell everyone what you've done for us. Thank you so much. If there's ever anything my husband Tafik and I can do to help you, just ask. Oh, it's no problem. Um, incidentally, the looters were looking for an Imperial named Quintus. I don't suppose you know him? Quintus? No, there's no one by that name here. But if you're looking for an Imperial, I'd check the Citadel. That place is crawling with Imperials. Will do. Um, not entirely sure I like your tone about Imperial. I am actually, uh... An Imperial myself, but there we are. Um, by the way, while I'm here, what is your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. My husband, Tabik, runs the clothing store in town. You should stop by. I'm sure you'll leave looking much better. Uh, what are you trying to no, imply? Not that you don't look good now, I mean. It's just, you know, nice clothes are... Oh, who am I kidding? I'm no good at selling anything. I guess that's why they've got me sweeping the floors, day in, day out. Well, that, and we weren't invited to be layabouts in the Jarl Citadel. Layabouts? Did you see anyone working in the Citadel? I'll bet you didn't. They just amuse themselves all day, while those of us down here do all the work. And why? Because Abik's a Redguard, and I'm a Breton. I bet if we were both Imperial, it'd be a different story. The worst part is we left Solitude to get away from bigoted Nords after our son died. But here, the Imperials are even worse. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. But can I ask you something? Of course. Have you ever thought about challenging the Yarl? If you feel that um, you're so hard done by compared to the Imperials. What would we do? Start a rebellion? No way. Not after the Dwarves' warning. You know. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one, and all that. Yes. Um, you believe the dwarves' warning, of course. I'd be a fool not to. If you're not convinced, you should go and talk to Brawl in his chambers. He knows more about the dwarves than anyone. Well, uh, let's talk about something all else. Alright. Um, just before I go, do you happen to know a way out of here by any chance? If I did, Habik and I probably wouldn't be here. 
But Ulrin's wife managed to escape a while back. He doesn't like to talk about it, but you might be able to get him to open up, I suppose. Lovely. Well, uh, I'll be going now, then. Nice to talk to you. See you soon. Farewell. Now, while we were chatting, I did see that chap with the dwarven armor. Hello. Hey, I hear you dealt with those looters swiftly. Great oh, it was no problem. Um, I, I, there was the chap with the dwarven armor off around here somewhere. I saw him walking this way. Yes, you. Need to have a chat. Hello. Heard you got to kill those looters. Wish I could have joined you. I haven't been allowed to fight in years. Yes, uh, what's your story? Get out of my face, milk drinker. Charming. Uh, wh wh what is your problem? My problem is that I'm the only one around here whose head isn't buried in the sand. That's my problem. Uh, wh what, what precisely do you mean by that? I mean, everyone acts like nothing's wrong. But we're one stupid mistake away from being wiped out, like the last lot of people who lived here. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming, whatever that is. And when it hits, it's every man for himself. You've been warned. What, what, what is it exactly that you think is, is coming? I don't know. But did you ever get the feeling these statues are watching us? Like they're waiting for something. I don't like it. Oh, the statues. You mean the Dwemer Centurions? I see. Um, listen, about that shiny dwarven armor that you're wearing. What about it? Um, I would, um... I'd like to buy it from you. It's not for sale. Uh, fair enough. Are there any others like it? Nope. This is the only one like it in the whole city. Right, oh, um, I, I, would, I do really want it. Oh, well, in that case, you still can't have it. Let me be clear. The only way you'll get this armor is if you peel it from my corpse. Right, oh, oh well, that's that then. I'll be going now. Uh huh. Bye. Yes, I don't think we really got anywhere with that one. Hey, you're the one who killed all those bandits, aren't you? Gods, what a nightmare that must have been. What do you want with me? Oh, I just thought I'd Can I help you with something? What's your story? I don't see why I should share it with you. Fair enough. Um, did your wife find a way to escape the city? Why am I, why am I asking you that? I'm not sure, but I'm going to ask it. Did your wife find a way to escape the city? Well, she's not here anymore. That's all I know. I, I, would, I would love to know where she went. How should I know where she went? I woke up one morning and she was just gone. Didn't say goodbye, didn't take anything with her. And now you people won't stop harassing me, judging me, asking me questions like you think I had something to do with it. Well, I didn't. And nobody cares that I've lost my wife. They just love a bit of scandal. Or to find out how they can get out of here too. You're all animals. Oh, gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I was just, um, well, I was just, I just, I, I'll be going now, never mind. All right. Please, let me know if you hear anything about Maisie. I will, I will, I will do that. I will do that. Right. Hmm. Plot thickens. Uh, hello, you were the nice chap who called out to me earlier. What can I do for you, my friend? I just wondered if you happen to know a way out of here. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how often the new ones ask that question. But I'll tell you the same thing I tell everyone else. There are much worse places to live at your days. You might have a few sleepless nights thinking about the dwarves law. But once you get used to the fear, knowing that a single slip-up could cost you everything, it's not too bad. Nothing new to me, anyways. What can you tell me about the Dwarves' Law? Many shall suffer for the sins of the world. That's about all I know. You should go and talk to Brawl in his chambers if you want to know more. Yes, everyone's been mentioning Brawl. Well, come on back any time you like. I feel like I really ought to go and talk to him. Wherever exactly it is that he lives. 
I'm not really 100% sure. Ah, yes, these were those tunnels that were all boarded up. Or should be, except the boards have collapsed. Like they did when I pulled them out in the future. Time here really does seem to be most bizarre. And you. You centurions all over the place. You have something to do with this, don't you? I know it. And if I'm not mistaken, the dwarves lore is all tied up in you. What are you hiding? Well, never fear, my friend. Lucian Flavius is going to find out.